hello and welcome Scorpio. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. Alright, so Scorpio, keep in mind this is a general reading. So not everything may resonate with your situation. And that is okay. Just take what does and leave the rest. Alright, so Scorpio, we're going to be looking into um, kind of why are they burying their feelings. Oh, okay. Hmm. Let's get one more here. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups. Okay. So kind of um, what, as I was saying, um, why do they bury their feelings? Kind of what are they burying? You know, what are their true feelings? You know, things like that. Don't exactly have a title, so we're just kind of winging it. But that's what I'm looking into. Um, so again, Page of Cups on the bottom. Okay, it could be some obstacles, especially with that Three of Swords. You know, some pain here, some things that we're trying to get over, things we're trying to overlook, um, obstacles, you know, like I said, to overcome. Um, with the Queen of Cups, you know, there's a lot of love here. I keep getting a lot of forgiveness. I keep getting a lot of patience, a lot of encouragement, but also a lot of healing. Um, with the Four of Pentacles, but it kind of feels like somebody's in this, and I swear this was like last week too, um, Cancer and Scorpio. Uh, <clears throat> but it kind of feels like, you know, because Cancer kept getting something somebody was holding on to from the past, or the past was holding on to them, um, or to their person. You know, and I kind of feel the same way for Scorpio. It's like something you're holding on to something. This could be holding on to past pain, past, um, you know, heartache, um, trust issues. This could be a number of things that you're kind of holding on to that really need to be released. I will put a trigger warning um, down in the bottom, um, you know, just because I know some images are, you know, pretty graphic and people aren't comfortable with those. Um, my apologies. I haven't used this deck since last year. I pulled it out because, you know, it is the, the haunted house tarot and, you know, it's spooktober. So hopefully nobody's, you know, offended or triggered or anything like that, because that's definitely not my intention. Um, but I do feel with this ace of swords, there being clarity, um, you know, possibly a release, especially with that four of pentacles. Because like I said, somebody's really holding on tightly to something. I keep getting lacking self-esteem or lacking confidence. Um, could be even kind of lacking self-love. You know, not feeling really good about themselves. So that's what they're kind of holding on to is insecurities, you know, fear, you know, pain. So speaking of pain, let's go ahead and let's clarify the three of swords there. All right, so we have the eight of swords, we have the ace of swords again, and we have the six of pentacles. So it kind of feels like things are possibly a little one-sided. That's what's causing the pain. That's what's causing the uncertainty, the fear, is the lack of communication, the lack of clarity. You know, where do we stand? Where do I stand? How do you feel about me? Things like that. Um, so like I said, it's feeling one-sided. So the fact that the lack of communication is coming in so strong and things are feeling so one-sided, you know, means this person really hasn't expressed anything because somebody is really kind of left, you know, wondering, really left worrying, um, you know, overthinking, being in their heads. But yeah, but definitely overthinking the situation for sure. Hmm. So it's like, I just need a little feedback. I just need you to open up to me. Okay. So clarifying that Queen of Cups, we have the Tower. We have uh, the Two of Cups. And then we have the Five of Wands. So there's definitely a struggle. I keep getting there's a struggle to... Um, possibly commit to kind of move forward, to open feelings, and to let something end. I don't know what I want. I don't know how I feel. With the Queen of Cups, you know, I want to heal this. I want to move this forward. But something's preventing this, and I feel like what's preventing it is not being open and honest. Somebody's truly struggling in this situation with opening up or with letting something just end. Um, like I said, I feel like they're really holding on to dear life, to something that is no longer there. 
this could be the situation. This could be, you know, maybe time to let go of the relationship. This could be, it may be time to just, you know, let go of whatever it is that we're holding on to that's keeping us so guarded, you know? All right, so it appears that you have, I think, the Queen of Cups. I think that's her. Yep, you have the Queen of Cups here twice. So clarifying the Four of Pentacles, you have the Sun card, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. So it kind of feels like, um, Scorpio, you may be the one that's not saying how you truly feel. Um, because there's lack of clarity, it's like, I don't want to make the first move. I'm kind of waiting on them to make the move. Um, or maybe it's just like, I feel like I shouldn't have to open up first. You know, I want them to open up first. Or maybe I've already opened up, but they haven't opened up. So that's what I'm waiting on. So again, it can go a number of ways in general reading, but it just kind of feels like you're holding back. You're, um, you know, it kind of feels like your throat chakra is a little bit blocked there. And like I said, I feel like it, you're just, be, you're holding back your feelings. You're not saying how you truly feel. You're not giving clarity because this person isn't. It's like, I'm going to wait for them, you know, to, to make that move, you know, instead of me. For some of you, it's because you've already expressed how you feel, but this person hasn't. And that's what's causing the uncertainty. That's what's causing the stress, the worry, the pain. There's a lot of pain here. Clarifying that Ace of Swords we have. Let's look. Um, bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles, just in case you're wondering. Um, but clarifying that Ace of Swords, we have the Six of Wands. We have the Strength card. And we have the Knight of Cups. Okay. So um, just be patient. I do feel like this person, like I said, is being very guarded. I feel like, you know, you're kind of waiting for them to open up. <clears throat> you're waiting for them to reach out. For some of you, you're going to choose to, you know, more than likely um, kind of pick up and move on. Um, I keep getting like finding a great deal of strength. So it's because you really care about this person, but it's just kind of like, you know, something needs to change. Something needs to end. You know, I, I can't stay in this situation because it almost does kind of feel like kind of, um, kind of dark and gloomy, you know, just kind of like, um, kind of stagnant, you know, um, with other of you, I do feel like there is going to be, you know, a pretty good amount of success here as far as getting this person to open up. But I do feel like it requires patience. I do feel like it's not easy for this person to open up and express their emotions, their feelings. Um, I just feel like naturally this person is just kind of closed off. But I also feel like, especially with that Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the clarifying deck, and then the Page of Cups on the, on the bottom of the main deck, I do feel like this is just kind of, let me just show you those cards real quick. I do feel like this is kind of saying like, I want to get past, you know, um, any boundaries, anything that have, you know, kind of any blockages that have been in our way. This is like getting, you know, creative, kind of starting to open up, starting to trust, starting to lay down a strong, you know, foundation here, um, especially for trust, you know, to kind of build on because that's where it begins. With the Eight of Pentacles, this is saying, I want to put focus in on this. I want to put work in on this. You know, I know I need to possibly, you know, devote more time to this. Maybe somebody isn't giving enough of their time, and that's what's causing some some worry here as well, you know. Um, because if somebody's not giving you their time, there there's, you know, more than likely going to be some questions. Kind of like, okay, well, you know, this really isn't evening out. Um, because I do, you know, pick up, like I said, things being very one-sided. It's almost like, you know, you're talking, but they're not listening, you know, um, or this could be vice versa. Hmm. All right, Scorpio, let's go ahead and let's get some Oracle cards for you. But I do feel like, you know, especially in the kind of near future, um, I do feel like this person is going to be opening up. It's just very hard for them. And I feel like they're kind of still figuring some things out. So I don't know, especially with the pages coming up, if there's, you know, an age difference between you and this person, um, you know, or just kind of just being on, you know, not quite the same page yet. Kind of finding some, some middle road there, you know, trying to find that compromise. Okay, so we do have illumination. So this is, you know, finding out the truth you know, getting the truth, seeing the truth. We also have a skeleton, which is talking about strength. We have two more. 
And then we have the owl. So why seeing wise action? And I swear, I think Cancer got this card. Um, and I think they also got Skeleton. I'm not 100%. So, um, but owl, why seeing wise action? So not jumping to conclusions, you know, having something to base this off of, you know, before we take action, not just, okay, well, this is what I think it is. And bam, you know, I'm going to go from there. No. This is saying, okay, you know, I actually have, you know, like this, this proof or, um, you know, I have like, you know, this solid uh, truth, you know, and now I can make my decision. Now we can move this forward, you know, but again, it is about, you know, not jumping to conclusions or anything like that. With Skull of Light, like I said, I do feel like the truth is coming into light. I do feel like there will be illumination. I do feel like there will be some clarity um, on this person's feelings. I do feel like they're going to open up. And, you know, I feel like, you know, both of you are going to open up, really. Um, but it's going to take, like I said, some patience. Um, there's got to be some strength. There's got to be a little bit of a backbone from somebody who may be kind of letting the other person kind of dominate and just kind of call the shots. Um, this is kind of telling me that, you know, somebody, like I said, kind of needs to have a backbone, kind of needs to speak their truth, you know, let it out there. Um, even if, you know, you feel it might hurt the other person's feelings, you know, you want them to know the truth. Like, hey, you know, when you, um, I don't know, when you don't tell me how you feel about me, it really does hurt me. You know, when you're spending so much time at work instead of, you know, being with me, like maybe somebody's a little bit of a workaholic or something. It's like, you know, you you know, that bothers me. Or when you come home and you're just so closed off, you know, you don't talk to me, kind of ignore me, you know, that again, that kind of bothers me. You know, this is instead of just letting them get, you know, like do that and not saying anything, this is opening up. Like I said, having that strength, having that backbone, but also having that patience. So, um, with joy, rejoicing in the present. So this is saying, don't stress about the future. Let go of the past, live in the moment, live in the here and the now, because that's where the situation is. That's where the two of you are. Focus on this. Don't focus on the past because that's already done and happened. You can't change the past. Don't focus on the present or not the present, the future, because we're not there yet. You know, what's happening in the present is going to shape the future. So this is where you need to be. Mummy talks about change. You know, again, um, I do feel like there needs to be some pretty big changes here. You know, we have the tower coming out, which the tower doesn't always signify, you know, an end. It's, you know, stands for an ending of how things are. But it also talks about transformation. It also talks about change. And that's what needs to take place within this connection. So, you know, things need to change. And I feel like once they do, you know, we get that illumination. We get that truth. So, and we get that joy. So, all right. So Scorpio, that is what I have for you. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, as always, have a great rest of your week. Take care and stay spooky.